You've seen a little of the variety of Nigerian life. The job of holding the country together falls on four men. The Sardana of Sokotu on the left, Premier of the North, a commanding figure in any company. From the east, Dr. Azikiwe, pioneer nationalist, soon to be Governor General. From the west, Chief Awolowo, opposition leader in the federal parliament. And the cornerstone of unity, the federal prime minister, Alhaji Sir Abu Bakar Tafawa Balewa, a northerner trusted by all. Independence State was timed for the tail end of the Lagos rainy season, but it's a tale with a sting. This was a welcome the weather gave to Nigeria's most important guest, Princess Alexandra, who endeared herself to Nigerians by her first order on their soil that the car be left open to the worst the weather could do. Neither the weather nor the princess relented a day or two later at the government house garden party. Once again, the Governor General, Sir James Robertson, had to grin and bear it. So very British. Happily, the skies cleared in time for the great children's parade on Lagos Racecourse. Even the number plate, IND, proclaims independence. British sovereignty is surrendered to the Prime Minister. He said Nigerians proudly acclaimed Queen Elizabeth as Queen of Nigeria, head of the Commonwealth. 